Welcome to the Leo and Danny Show. What's up, guys? The two of us, we hang out enough, yeah. we film enough. Why not do a fucking podcast, we thought? Yeah. Hum- humble start here. Yeah. We don't have a very good studio, as you can see. The studio is my couch. The equipment is my camera. It works. Three mics, none of which are the same as the other ones. You can hear us and see us, though. That's all that matters. You right? can. Yeah. You can hear us and see us. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what are we going to talk about? I actually saved a banger of a first story. I would love to hear this story. Yeah, yeah I was teasing Leo on it. We just took a walk to Starbucks to get it warmed up. Yeah. And it was, I had to be careful not to spill too many of the goods before we sat down and turned the camera on. <laughs> so I got laid this weekend. That's fucking awesome, man. That's that's the goal, I think. You know? I think so, too. Yeah, yeah. Ask me when the last time I got laid was before this time. All right, when's the last time you got laid before this time? This New Year's Eve. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. A man like Leo can't even fathom that kind no. of time. That's like no, geologic no, time no, for yeah, Leo. Yeah. Like yeah. the time it took for the African continent to drift away from the yeah. Americas. Yeah, unfortunately, I am a little bit addicted to uh, to sex, indeed. But yes. that's that's my problem. But let me hear about this. I'm excited. Okay, yeah, and I need some of Leo's advice here. Leo's going to kind of be the love doctor. That's the function he's going to serve on this podcast. Yeah. So what happened Thank was you. we headed out to this local karaoke bar. It's called Backstage. I was, I was thinking about not saying the name. So I really, I'm going to block this girl on Instagram. She follows me. I'm going to block her before I put this out. But we went to Backstage, which is just down the street. My roommate yeah. goes there at least two or three times a month, gets blacked out drunk. And my roommate, who's a, he's a cool guy. He's, he he's tall. Yeah, he's sing. He's a horrible singer. I saw that firsthand. But the thing is, he's... He's a handsome enough guy, yeah. but he doesn't have the cra- he's not the fucking crazy ladies man. He's not Johnny Bravo. He's not Leo the Tavio. I'm not. But he comes yeah. back more often than not with a pretty cute broad. Nice. nice. And he does obscene shit too. He's always getting his ass licked in his bedroom after nights wow, at backstage. That's the thing. That's the thing young girls do now. You know. It's They're, it's uh, part of the, it's in your arsenal. Like it's yeah, yeah. in it's part of the dating contract. It is nowadays. It's, yeah, it's normal. I take yeah. you to dinner. I buy you a couple drinks. Not only are we gonna have intercourse, yeah. I'll eat your ass. At least your ass. Yeah, which is great. Yes. Really. Yeah. So, Techno- technology, you know? I think, I think it's porn. It's got to be porn. It's got to be yeah. porn. More girls than I've ever noticed. Like, more girls watch porn than I would ever really think. It's like all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And incredible. Given the equipment on those male performers, that's not great news for me. Oh, stop. So we go to the <laughs> size doesn't bar. matter. Yeah. So we go to these fucking bar, this bar. Yeah. Yeah. I show up, I'm immediately disappointed. It's a hippie crowd, a lot of girls who wear hats. Girls who are wearing kind of just witchy outfits, the buckles, the boots. Really? They look like vegan hipsters who, Jesus. as a class, just hate me. Culver City, that's yeah, about right. Yeah. There's a bright spot. Leo, tell the audience which variety, which breed of women I love above all others. It's Asian women. And if, if they're half-breed Asian, that's even better, but it's, it's really Asian. I don't know if necessarily that's true. I, so I like breed, even I like better, full, just full Asian? Dude, I like them full Asian. I like any them Any specific Oriental no. or just no, no. Asian? Any fu- if, dude, Filipino? I mean, they're was, really almost Latinos. Because Filipino. I just quit UCLA, and when I was yeah. working there, I would do catering events for doctors. Mm-hmm. A surgeon came in, a fucking Asian surgeon girl, fresh off the fucking boat. Her eyes looked like slits in a suit of medieval armor. I'm talking like this fucking much, dude. Yeah. Nothing. I found her irresistible. So we get to this bar... <laughs> I walk in the door. Who do I make eye contact with right upon walking in? Smoking hot Asian girl. Smoking hot. <laughs> small titties, but uh, she had that Y-shaped torso. So broad. Why'd you open up with small titties? Is that... I'm being honest with the audience. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to dress this girl up. All right, all right. That Y-shaped torso, though, that we can't resist. Yeah, definitely. Nice Beautiful. shoulders. Really? Athlete? Yeah. I, she had the, the body of one. I don't know you if she necessarily played that. You never course. asked? Never asked. Okay, okay. So I immediately walk up and sit down with her. The first question she asked me is, how old are you? She thought I looked young. Sometimes girls use that as an opening, so I kind of like a young kid. We sit down. It's her, the hot Asian chick, her friend. Want to take a guess at what the friend looks like, Leo? I would say probably uh, overweight. Wildebeest. <laughs> Complete wildebeest? A wildebeest. A warthog. I'm going to use the term warthog for the rest of the podcast. Of course, of it's course. got a nice snap to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> warthog. Warthog. Okay. Warthog, okay. Yeah, what's is so, Pumbaa from The Lion King? Is that, that, yeah, yeah is that that's, the, that's, that's the, the, the heavier one. Yeah, yeah. that's the warthog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just call her Pumbaa. Pumbaa, okay. So Pumbaa. So, gotcha, of course. And that, that she, that, her job is to make sure she doesn't get any cock. That's her job. Pumba was open to Asian woman getting cock. Really? Yes. That's huge. That's already, that's great. That's yes. great. When you see that, that's huge. And yeah. they were already kind of siphoning my attention. It seemed like they were both trying to set me up with Warthog Pumba. Mm-hmm. Were you the tallest guy in the bar? 
I don't know. I one was, of? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. That was pretty tall. I was too. wearing my Nelk merch, so I felt good about myself. Oh. But the, I could tell the. They you had were, something to sh- I mean, would you. Did you give your. Maybe show your social media? I that, I used that move. Really? And now that That's I have, a great move. Guys, play to your strengths. That's all any of us mm. can do. That's what I always say. And you did mm. it. And I'm mm. really. I'm happy for you. That's great. You, buddy. It's great. I learned that all from you. Oh, I love you. Man. The blue check mark, like Leo. <laughs> but. It's coming. Uh, yes. So I, they, I told him I'm a writer, which isn't a lie now, because I write for Danny Duncan. Yeah. And I told them I'm a YouTuber too. I one of them saw my Instagram, which has a, you know a very solid amount of followers. Now, very, yeah. now I'm getting yeah. up there. Now I'm in the yeah. big leagues. You're about, in the big leagues. I think I was at about 13k when I showed them. Oh shit, it's growing fucking fast. It's great, man. 15. That's high 15s exciting. now. No big deal. That's but nice. <laughs> so at one point, I start just I cut the charade with the fat girl. I I flirted with her enough to try to make the Asian jealous, which I understand is an effective move. Yeah, it but is. then I get right over to the Asian girl. At one point, we pecked on the lips. Oh, nice! And at this point, my roommate who gets asked there all the time, I was trying to set him up with the fat girl, so I could see in his eyes he was fucking obliterated and he yeah. wouldn't care, yeah. and he would just slide his cock into anything. <laughs> Now, on the kiss, though, I always say, like, I always like to go in with a positive mindset. Like, if you just get a kiss, that's already, like, a decent Wasn't night, a make-out, you know I mean? though. Wasn't a make-out. Still, I know though, you like you know? the make-out. Yeah, the make-out's great. Yeah, the, first, like, yeah. the first night Leo and I hung out was after the raiding UCLA video. Yeah. And we took two UCLA chicks out, and we were yeah. making out with both of them. And they yes. eventually had to leave. They said they had work. They probably were fucking liars. Yeah, it's fine. But that's what he said to me. As long yeah. as you get a make-out, it's get a good a make night. Out, it's, it's a good night. But I didn't get a make Well, I did get a make-out later on. So here's mm-hmm. how it shaped up. And this is my problem. I'm really good in the first 15 to 20 minutes interacting with women because the skill set is identical to what we do on stage or on video. On stage or video, yeah. True. When people say you need to be confident or be interesting, it's... It's really, they're just telling you what a stand, it's what a stand-up comedian needs to do to win over a crowd. Yeah. It's an identical skill set. You right. need to go out there, have a presence, have confidence in what you're saying, because if you have confidence in it, then the audience or the vagina in front of you is going to have confidence yeah. as well. Right. So I was being funny, witty, I got all that under control, but where I start losing my way mm-hmm. is in the department of romance. Gotcha. When do you hold her hand? Mm-hmm. When do you go in for the first kiss? Right. When do you make the suggestion, let us get out of here? Yeah, yeah. I, I have a very simple kind of formula for that, and uh, and it's really just turning the camera around to your to your own soul. Okay, when someone says like a compliment to you, when someone tells you you have like beautiful eyes, like if I told you you have beautiful eyes right now, mm-hmm. like no matter who you are, it. yeah, you appreciate yeah. it. So the romance comes right after compliments, in my opinion. You start like even if it's like even if they're like overly like oh oh stop flattery gets you nowhere, but yeah. that's the not the truth. Got it. Like anytime you compliment a woman, it's uh, or anyone really. You kind of win them over a little bit, so I think start. And I think complimenting. that compliment, and it would probably be especially powerful if the first fifteen minutes had been kind of backhanded compliments and playful disrespect. Yeah, right. The comedic asshole character that we both play. Right. The compliment card becomes a lot more effective yeah. after fifteen minutes of being kind of a dick. There you go, and yeah. I think I think the key there is to search for that one moment where you you kind of. You basically get serious. Think of it, I almost mentioned it or uh, call it like a movie moment yeah. where you really make strong eye contact and then just basically tell them like, yeah, you know, you're really beautiful or whatever, but like, but mean it or, or like, yeah. Or, or yeah. And then that's when after that moment, I think things can change and like you can slowly start getting handsy as I call it. But yeah. like, but in a, in a places that H-A-N-V-S-Y. are comfortable. Yeah. 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 Spell it? yeah. I think okay. it's spelled yeah. what? I yeah. think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, start with the hand. Hand's always good. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, I mean, when you're really hand on the hand like, or hand, hand on the vagina, hand on the breast, <laughs> hand on, hand on the hand, hand is, on the uh, cunt, yeah, yeah. hand, hand on, the on the hand. That's what Leo always says. I, I, effective. Uh, That's what move. he said. Before my first dates, I always text him to make sure I'm looking good. <laughs> send him a picture. He says, "Good job, Danny." Hand on the cunt. Remember that. Hand on the cunt. That's, That's what right. sends me off into the night. Uh, yeah. Hand on the hand. Hand see, on the hand. See, yeah. I my. And again, because I've been so hardcore in video mode, oh, yeah. chasing ass is it's fifth on my list of priorities, which means right. I essentially never does do it. does that for you guys out there. I do it know? for you fuckers. Yeah, I yeah. go celibate. I beat off yeah. constantly, but otherwise yeah. I'm celibate. Yeah. But uh, in college, I was the fucking ladies' man, so I, uh, that was, I had short hair, I lifted weights, I was a fucking yeah, douchebag. Yeah, I like the picture that we saw. In yeah, the, it was cute. Uh, frat, with my, yeah, uh, yeah. my frat portrait we saw yeah, during yeah. that UCLA yeah, video yeah. up on the wall. But I, I neglected these lessons, or they just they didn't come into my mind. So this chick, get the hot Asian girl, uh-huh. she fucking ends up making out with a five foot five bleached hair, probably gay guy on the dance floor. 
That's terrible. I couldn't fucking believe my eyes. I, the guy, I saw him kind of edging in the whole night. Was he just like all up in her face, kind of? Or? A, a little bit, but yeah. I just assumed he was a gay guy, and I assumed he was yeah, no yeah, threat. Yeah, I was yeah. like, you're fucking gay. It's, I don't yeah, have to worry yeah, about yeah. it. I can go to the bathroom. I can go hang out with my friends at the bar. Yeah, yeah. So at one point, she walks by me with the gay dude. I wave at her, because so I think they're going to go smoke a fucking cigarette or yeah. whatever gay guys do with hot yeah, chicks. Yeah. Was he gay for sure, or do you... We're going to get the answer right, to that. Right. Warthog comes up to me. And Warthog tells me that my Asian princess has just left the bar with gay men. What? Gone back to their apartment. Asian girl had texted Warthog that. So now, it, first of all, there's about a minute where I'm trying to pretend that a colossal wave of dis- disappointment hasn't just washed over me, okay, yeah. which it had. Hmm. But then i got to consider my options. Go home empty-handed or get my cock sucked by the fucking Warthog girl. Oh, yeah, that's... I would definitely... Uh... Go with option two there. Yeah. <laughs> Even Leo, you would? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We took a poll amongst yeah. the room because about four guys were back here after the bar closed. Mm-hmm. 2.5 is the 1 through 10 score we assigned her. And really? I agree with that. Really? 5 is average. 5 is top of the bell curve. Yeah. 2.5. 2.5. If you drop a point or if you start going down away from her, we're talking homeless what women. About, what are we talking, we're talking hygiene, about cancer hygiene victims. Was bad? Oh, I'm going to tell you everything. What's like, oh, what's God. like, so we fucking leave and yeah. it's, it's still because she'd been like making out with my roommate because I was trying to wingman that in. Yeah. But it, it's kind of because my roommate's fucking sloshed. It becomes apparent she's more attracted to me than my roommate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We get back here though. She's on the phone with the Asian girl while we're on the Uber back. Gay guy couldn't get his fucking dick hard, and Asian girl kicked him out. So it wasn't even like he went back and piped the shit out of her and rocked her world. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. I would have been the better choice. Of course. So yeah. I learned that, and I'm, I get on the phone with the Asian girl in the Uber. I'm so yeah. shameless, and I'm trying to get her over. She says no. Whatever. I got the warthog. It's fine. We take her back here. It's only about five minutes down the street. <laughs> okay. I take warthog into the back bedroom. Mm-hmm. I lay down. I solicit a blowjob. She makes me put on a condom before she sucks my dick. Really? Yes. Okay, so th- that means she's doing this all the time. I think so. Yeah, yeah. She's a professional. She Yeah, and it's probably a good, She's right? clinical in her sex acts. Really? Yeah. Clinical, yeah, okay, so she made you put a condom on. What, did you have, sperm- was it a spermicidal condom? I don't know. A... Well, this was just for oral. Oh, yeah, no, but... I get it, but did you did, did you have the condom or her? Cause I, I... She had the condom. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to say, you don't, have, you don't have condoms. No, of course not, yeah, man. I'm a real man. No. Yeah, exactly. So, at some point during the blowjob, she asks if she's going to get anything in return. Yeah. Oh, God. Wow, she's feeling real mighty. Did she really... Did she see your Instagram, or was it the other no, one? I think they. I think the other one did. Yeah, which, see, if she had seen your Instagram, oh, she, wouldn't, she wouldn't have asked She wouldn't have asked anything in return? That's, she would have known her that's place. That's a perk, yeah, that's a perk, yeah. Continue sucking my cock, peasant. But no, that wasn't the case. <laughs> so, and at some point, she'd gotten herself naked, too. Let me give you a quick catalog of, of this woman's Wait, what body. She got, she got completely While naked. While she was blowing She me. just took all her clothes off. She started How'd she get the shoes off? One item by one item disrobing. I don't so remember she, the fucking... She, she, heels? What yeah, she I don't on? remember. I don't recall. This is insane. I was, so, here's what we have. Here's what her body the looks audacity. like. audacity. Face... Horrible nose, yeah. a bullfrog pouch underneath the chin. No, she the, the cla- I swear to God, the classic bullfrog so, pouch, just so fat really, down here. Really obese, dude. Two point five. Okay. Saggy, lopsided tits that had been operated on because she'd had breast cancer. Which, well, God she's bless her. A fighter. She's, she's a, a survivor. I, I like her. I like this. I praise her for that. But I, her tits were I not looking great. One day when you're fucking huge, I, I hope she tells. Stories of sucking your cock at parties. I hope so too. Yeah, yeah. I don't really hope that at all. No, she's going to. I'm going to deny them if they ever get out. Oh, she's. If she tweets at me on Twitter, I'm going to talk to somebody. I'm going to talk to Jack Conte up there in San Francisco and get her account deleted. (laughs) So, I got more. Her body. It's the tattoos. It was like a purple cloud with stars. And then about three paragraphs of text that I did not have it in my heart to read. Why, you, I'm sure it was why unintelligible. You read the text. It was probably like a passage from a Nicholas Sparks novel. No way. It, it probably would have made me want to kill myself had I read it. I, I, I would have come out and retrieved a kitchen knife and taken it from? to my wrist. Do you remember? I, where didn't, she's I from? didn't fucking ask. I don't remember. All right, all right, all right. She lives down the street. Horrible she's tattoos. Just... She looks like she has smallpox. Her acne is so bad. Where? Like, just like her face just, or all just over. Pink just zits everywhere. No. A pouch that completely eclipses her vagina. Like hangs down over the vagina. Yeah. Hangs over. Listen, I get brave for a second, Leo. Oh, God. I, I oh God. lift the pouch. No, 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 no. It looks like a beaver had been caught in a tailpipe Stop of a car. It. Stop it, dude. It looks like no. a beaver had crawled into a tailpipe. No. Just a fucking mass of hair no. and grime, dude. And she has the gall to ask me, Danny Mullen, who is a certified internet celebrity, yeah. who has a check mark next to his name on YouTube. Yeah. To ask Danny Mullen if she's going to get anything in return. And? 
Were you one of them I moved, Leo? I, I really am curious, yes. I'll take care of you, baby. Got up naked, came down the hallway, shouted from around that corner to where my roommate was seated, where we are right now. Yeah. Yeah. I need you. Get in the fucking room. Okay. I'm going to have to bleep out his name right there. I should yeah, not yeah. have said his Beep. name. Right. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Roommate. <clears throat> How was he? Did he come back to life at this point? A little he bit? was fucked up. So that was one of the funniest parts. Yeah, he yeah. gets in there. He's the most insolent, disrespectful, not taking her seriously at all. He's not sober like me, or yeah, I was yeah. playing it kind of respectful. Yeah, yeah. I was pretending I liked her. Yeah. He just gets in there. He's like, "All right, you gotta suck my dicks. I'm not hard right now." Because I told him oh to fuck God. her, and she was totally okay. I recorded a consent video. Okay. Because you have to do that when you get two guys. Yeah, yeah. I pulled up my phone. I recorded a consent video. I was like, so you're okay with us? The two of us having sex? She's like, yes, I'm a big girl. I consent. I was like, sweet. Stopped recording. Safe. So Noah's like, you got to suck my cock. Pulls his cock out. She fucking blows him a little bit. Mm -hmm. He gets hard. She puts a condom on him. Mm -hmm. He fucks her from behind. (laughs) Okay. Wow. He fucks her from behind while she's blowing me. So that that was that was her getting hers. That was was, her getting hers. And you made it. You made it happen for. I made it happen for. I got her a penis in her body. Other than can I ask you why you why did you check her vagina just in case it was magical by some? Uh, I just want to see what was going on down there. I mean, maybe by an off chance she had a stupendous vagina. Yeah. In which case I could have been talked into putting it in. All right. There you go. It was not the case. Okay. So Noah has sex with her. At one point, she gets she, in her haste. Yeah. She loses her sense of caution, rips yeah. the fucking condom off me, starts sucking me raw. Whoa, okay. Which I, I got in my my co- I got excited about that yeah, because it I mean, felt good for once. Very low chance of STDs. Oh yeah, either I, way, it's not, fine. I would get my yeah. cock sucked by a prostitute. Now, no, I wouldn't yeah. lose any sleep over that. Yeah. But so comes in. I gotta bleep his name again. Yeah, roommate. That's two times I've used his name. Roommate comes in about two minutes. And then this is one of the best parts. After he comes, he's kind of lingering for maybe twenty to thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. I'm still getting blown. I ask him, what are you doing back there, buddy? He looks me straight in the eye, swoops down. The girl's still on her belly blowing me, puts his tongue at the base of her ass crack, rakes it all the way up over her anus to the small of her back. Just fucking licks this chick's ass for no, no reason whatsoever. No, 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 dude. I think he did it to prove. No, he's I think, a sick fuck. I think he did it as a status move to prove, no, like, hey, I, I'm the young crazy this is guy the, in the one house of the best, now. This is guaranteed one of the best nights of this girl's life. I think so. But it, it, actually, it's the best night of her life. But don't you see that as kind of a sign of disrespect that he would lick her yeah. ass? Like he was trying to prove to me that he's more wild and crazy no, than he, Danny. No, and Mullen. he did. He did. I think he he is, he's more wild. And I was. Crazy I was not willing to do the same thing. No, no, no. That was Leo's incredible. Mike, a little yeah. more dead on there. I, I'd say that uh, he proved a, a very great point in in basically. He taught saying, me a lesson. Yeah, yeah. He taught you a lesson. He taught, I mean, yeah, he's yeah. more willing to lick ass yeah. than I. Yeah. So then he fucking. There's no way that that was clean. Is is he okay? Has he? I don't know. He hasn't been vomiting, if that's what you're okay, asking. He hasn't, cool. Because there are serious stomach viruses oh, that yeah. can arise. Right. But it, so he that's the great thing about being the two-man, mm-hmm. is you can just vacate the room. And so mm-hmm. I got left with the wreckage. So oh he just God. fucking up and leaves, gets his clothes on and leaves. I don't even think he said goodbye. And then I'm stuck with her. She At some point, so she's sucking my cock. Get yeah. this. She's like, I want to have sex. And I didn't know what Ooh. to say. Because as men, we're not programmed to turn down sex. No, it's tough, but, but this woman, I... It almost left my I have my a good lips. one for you if you ever if you need a good move. Yeah, good so right I think there. I figured it out. I okay. think you, I think you can dig this. All but right. the point is, I used my line too late. Okay. Warthog Pumbaa starts climbing up my body, gets my cock in her hand with a condom, and fucking mounts me. She put another condom on at some point. Fucking mounts me. Oh god, dude, I am just stiff as a board. Right. Like a fucking like a rape victim. Yeah, yeah. Like a fourteen year old girl in some right. foreign country getting rich, raped oh by a rich like monarch in the country. Oh god, yeah. I'm just. Fucking, and she can sense it. She's like, "Why are yeah, you so yeah. stiff? What's going on?" And I started she cooking. Said up, that? I, yeah, I started cooking up the story. I'm like, "I just got out of a bad breakup, baby. Perfect. Oh, that's so I'm good. not ready to have that's sex with anybody. Yeah, yeah. I prefer it for right now because you, you, all the other girls in that bar, no, but you, you deserve a good lay. Right. And I'm not in the position to make love to you like you deserve right now. Wow. Did you you said this like like your best acting? I took her hand. Like, I took her hand in mine. Took her hand. I took her hand in mine. See, this is why like girls. That's great. She had a great, she's having a good night. She had, I I ended things as long as she doesn't see this podcast. Right. And I immediately started hitting on the Asian girl on Instagram right after. As oh, long as those two things don't make it back to right, her ear, right. she's gonna think I'm Prince Charming. Hey man, we we're not all perfect. We're not all know? perfect. Yeah, yeah. But so I talk her down off my cock, and mm-hmm. eventually we. What happened was she laid on her back. She sucked my balls while I jerked off, and she even licked my ass a little bit. Really? So I love a nice rim job man, jerk like, off uh, yeah, with what, lotion. Oh, was, I'm sure that was phenomenal. It was not bad. And guess yeah. who I was thinking of while it was taking place? Yeah, the Asian. <laughs> Her friend? Of course. 
but I was pretending the Asian was down there giving Danny the rim. <laughs> and I came and I asked her to leave very nicely because it was about 3 a.m., well past my bedtime. Mm-hmm. And that was my story of getting laid last weekend. Wow, man. That is incredible. And yeah, it counts because there was insertion, mm-hmm. although you didn't like climax from sex. Oh, it counts. Yeah, yeah it counts. Insertion. A wise man once told me as long as you break the goal line, you're, yeah, you've had sex. Yeah. yeah. I'm still fucked, yeah. When was the last time you got laid? Last night. Your girl, girlfriend? The girl I'm dating right now. Yeah. What, so Leo, we can we can dig deep here, huh? Yeah, yeah. So Leo has kind of a complex romantic situation. Yeah, yeah. Girlfriend, sugar mama, yeah. and then a horde of whores who want some of this penis. <laughs> so it's, you know... It's for, the big three. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the sugar mama is, uh, is an interesting relationship. Uh, you know, she's uh, married, and uh, we fooled around a little bit, but it's mainly now, like, a friendship, and she kind of wants to... She's almost like a manager, and she wants to see me do well. Let's tell the audience yeah. about the finances. Yeah, she gives me a little money, uh, you know, on the on Let's the be specific about yeah, the figure. Yeah. It's like four or $5,000. It's gone up from 3500 yeah. yeah. It used to be 3500 She's been apologetic for, for a blow-up she had recently at one of my uh, comedy shows. So, yeah. yeah, so this woman showed up at a comedy show where Leo was yeah. at with another woman, and the the sugar mama, after presumably a few cocktails, yeah, she so, had a few cocktails, uh, a few too many, yeah, and she few had too many that day. And she started telling the entire audience of the club that she performed fellatio on yeah, Leo yeah. in the past. She, she told uh, a lot of people, including uh, <laughs> a good friend I've had for a long time, uh, past a girl that I had hooked up with a long time ago. That showed up to the show that that she blew me. So, yeah, you know, that was a little, uh, a little yeah. much. So just, she's been apologetic lately. So that's brought the figure up from thirty five hundred. But the, the, yeah, the figure has gone up, and uh, and yeah, and then I, I I'm with my girlfriend. Uh, we've been together for like seven months, and uh, I've had I was a little I, I cheated on her at the beginning. Uh-huh. We weren't like a hundred percent official, but she's she's had problems getting over that. But I really do. I I, I like her a lot. You like your that's girlfriend. I can tell you yeah. like your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Because and I his do. girlfriend's smoking hot. She's Thanks. a smoking hot young college girl. Yeah, she's a young college girl, smart. But yeah, yeah so but but it's been tough. It's been tough because you yeah, see, student, I'm she's a, a smart girl. Yeah, yeah. So, but Leo, it's amazing to me that you make. What's the figure that it said that you're once you hit that figure, you're that's the amount of money you need to be happy sixty thousand. Yeah, it's like sixty. It's like the median yeah. income of yeah, yeah. A, of a nice, respectable family. Yeah, yeah. You make that by essentially yeah. texting some old bitch a couple times a week. <laughs> It's a little. It was a little bit more than that. Like she, she did. You know, she, I thought she was on my side 100. percent So uh-huh. when when this all happened that night, and then uh, she kind of even reached out to my girlfriend on social media. That's uh-huh. I don't know if I told you your that. current girlfriend. Yeah, my current girlfriend. She reached out to her and said like some stuff like about like you know he uh, a blowjobs don't count with him. Like you know, so he might be doing that. I bet your side. girlfriend loved that. Yeah, she, <laughs> I bet she, your current girlfriend did. loved that. She did not. How old so is then, Sugar Mama? Sugar Mama is about 56. She's old. Yeah. I bet your girlfriend loved receiving that from a 56-year-old yeah, rich woman. How about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Little, <laughs> what the fuck did you make of that? Yeah, it was, it was a little gnarly. So then uh, so then she's been apologetic lately. And, and you know, she is she kind of takes, like, a manager's role, kind of. Like, she'll yeah. find, like, she'll even find, like, things that I could possibly do, gigs and stuff. And kind of she, she looking for another client? Yeah. She looking to manage Danny Mullins? She might, but it, it's not easy, you know. I'll like, do it for I'll 2000. tell you, when you take money from a, from a woman, I'm not, like, saying that it's great. Like, you should turn it down, guys, or anything. But it does... Make you feel like less of a man a little I, bit. I agree. She, if she, when we were going well, like when we, our relationship was strong, she would tell me like, "Hey, listen, I want to see you tomorrow," and I'd mm-hmm. be like, oh, "You right, had to do it. Yeah, had to do it." Well, the only woman I've taken money from is my mother, mm-hmm. but I can tell you, every time I've lived at home with my parents is the most depressed I've ever been. And the, yeah. whenever I feel the best in my life, it's yeah. when I have the least amount of spare time, mm-hmm. when I'm working the hardest, right. and when I hardly have a day off per month. And that's, that's when I'm always the happiest. Right. And so it's made me a little lazy to just get money yeah. like without like that's kind of like what look like uh, I look up to the, your your work ethic and how you're going about your business and you know I, I took a different route and now like I feel like I need to to take it the way you know, I, I want to do what you're doing and, uh, and yeah. really. To have my own channel and stuff, so that yeah. I feel like her giving me money is great, and if I use that to, to kind of you know help. Like at first, she was really we met like on a organic terms, and she was she's a really cool woman. Mm-hmm. But then yeah, then when when she started giving me money, I feel like that made our relationship a little toxic, and now it's like a little odd. Yeah, yeah. but you don't have quite have the courage to say no to forty or mm-hmm. four it's three thousand yeah. dollars yeah, every it's, fucking it's, month. It's tough. It's which tough is insane. To which now, yeah. uh, which is your all your expenses for the month plus savings yeah, plus yeah. bonuses. Leo and I that yeah. UCLA day that I mentioned earlier, yeah, we filmed yeah, yeah. the UCLA. 
we got two cute little co-ed undergraduates yeah. back to, we took them to a bar in Westwood. Yeah. One of them just got into Harvard Law School, by the way. No My way. chick just got into Harvard Law. She was she was that much of a genius? I had to rekindle. Wow, you do need to rekindle. Her and I stayed on good terms. But nice. we took them after the bar. We got nice and sauced. We went to Barney's Beanery. Yeah, Leah yeah. was ordering drinks like he was fucking... <laughs> yeah. Like he was David Lee Roth in the '80s, we commanded that bar, and yeah, we, we took did. him back to the Westwood W. Yeah, yeah. Leo goes ducks into a shadowy corner, gets on the phone with Sugar Mama. Next thing I know, we're in the penthouse at the yeah. top floor of the fucking W. Yeah, it's nice. We get some. There's some perks, you know, to it. We yeah. should take a couple chicks to the Westwood W again on a Sunday, yeah. you know, a pool day with them. That same <laughs> yeah. fucking room, dude. That would, that would be. Go uh, do double yeah. work in the two bedrooms. <laughs> yeah. Because Leo's got a hog on him. I don't want to pull my cock out next to his. That'll poison the relationship with my girl. <laughs> I don't think girls care about much as much about size as people think. Yeah, and I I fucking make a lot of jokes about my cock, yeah, yeah. but I'm like I he's fine. I'm, I'm satisfied. Right. Yeah, with it. He, he has a nice cock. Yeah, I looked yeah. at a study. Yeah, Leo's yeah. he's admired it through the the, the, the screen of my iPhone. <laughs> but uh, I guess gay guys are where the they're the real size queens. Yeah, yeah, I, they are. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I do. They're it's into tough. it. Yeah, yeah. I've been the talking. World's, it's tough. It's it's a vain, yeah. dark, dark world. Yeah. Because on all my jobs, I usually tend to become the best friends with the gay dudes. Yeah. Because the gay dudes, they mirror my personality the closest, and that they'll say fucking anything and talk about fucking anything. Right. Be- uh, unlike the the hetero guys who are a little too cool and like, no man, I, I only fuck like tens, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, like they're, they're not honest. There's no honesty nah, from them. And then the fucking no honesty, most yeah. of the chicks aren't that honest. But the gay guys. And I was talking to one, and he's this Brazilian guy, and he's like, it's really frustrating to be gay because you meet a guy that you like and you start having sex with him, he stops answering your texts a couple weeks into the relationship because all he has to do is go out with an ecstasy pill in his system and he can find a guy who has a better face than you, Mm. a better build, a bigger cock. Mm. Because think about it, us men, we're, look, uh, how are her titties? How are her ass? Does she shave her bikini line? Like, <laughs> yeah. how, how tight was her yeah, pussy? Yeah, we're, we're vain. Yeah, we're, we're super vain, fucking vain. Super, yeah, uh, material, not materialistic, but very, uh, yeah, just. Uh, Whereas chicks are like, is he tall? Does he generally take showers? Right. Does he have a job? Right. That's, yeah, it. that's That's basically it. And does he care, or is he sweet to me? Or that's pretty much Even it. that's not Even that's, yeah. that's way down <laughs> the list, Leo. Yeah, what are you yeah, talking yeah, about? I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so cock yeah. size to the gay guys yeah, becomes a huge. real fucking issue. No, I I, uh, I have a, a few friends that are gay, and it is a very, it's a crazy vain world, and, it's, and it kind of sucks for when they get older, you know, and they can't, like, get, like keep up with the younger guys. It's, yeah. It, they, there's a lot of depression, and, uh, you know, if they, but I feel like that Is that angst, true? Yeah. But I feel like that angst really makes them successful. They all fucking work hard. They all make so much money, man. It's but crazy. The thing is about the gays, though, is there's also a move for those older guys because so many young yeah, men money, these days yeah. have poor relationships with their fathers. Yeah, because true. when a gay guy comes out, his father is either going to accept him yeah. or, as is commonly the case, give him the cold shoulder and disown right. him as a son. Right. And right. then those older men can come in right. and it, it's like a fucking chick who's a stripper whose stepdad would be at the foot of her bed masturbating at night, Jesus like Christ. raping her. It's like those girls go and seek a proper father out in the world. And it, it happens with the gay men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's true. I knew and a gay guy in San Francisco. Yeah, and, yeah. Was, and then they want like an older man to take yeah. care of them. Yeah. So you got that move as yeah. an aging gay man. Yeah, Whereas, sure. I guess if you're you, you an aging gotta, straight man, you just got to look for women in strip clubs. Yeah, you got to keep. You got to work hard and have that savings. Have a nice house, a pad, yeah. a nicely yeah. well lit pad where you can bring people back. And how know. do you think you're going to deal with that? So I've gotten a little bit out of my system, and and, and like. I feel like that's why I've been able to be, you know, up to a certain point, pretty, you know, um, um, honest and forth with with the girlfriend that I am with that I'm with now. And let's not pretend the pussy's out of your system. Yeah, it's it's not. Let's not pretend the pussy's out of your system. But she she can hand, She's pretty. She's very uh, like sexually attracted to me, but and and can keep up with me and like totally keeps me satisfied in that way, which not all girls can. Oh yeah, you love her. I dude. feel like yeah, I, can I, tell. Do, I do love her. After we filmed in UC Santa Barbara, which yeah. is where his girlfriend lives. Mm-hmm. Leo went the second the camera when I pressed that red button to yeah. signal the end of the filming day. Leo went hopping and skipping down the street over to his girlfriend's humble yeah, abode, it's nice. and I didn't hear from him for the rest of the night. He, yeah. he she, yeah. she's like the fucking a planet bringing she's a like meteor a, a into drug, orbit. Man. Like, yeah, she's definitely a drug man and uh, supportive. What is it about her? What is it about her? She's, physically, uh, physically, physically. Can we talk about her vagina? I mean, yeah, she, it's the most perfect thing I've ever seen in my life. Waxed. And she is hairless, man. It's the nar- craziest thing. I mean, she shaves once every three months and doesn't really have hair follicles. <sighs> it's insane. Asian. Maybe, it's what yeah. what draws me to the, to the Far Eastern. 
yeah, people. Yeah. I like those Far Eastern Asian women because of that hairlessness. <laughs> she would be Asian. But but I'm telling you, man, she well, she's Persian, but it's weird. She's Armenian Persian, but Which somehow are not renowned for their hairlessness. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She usually she should have a lot of hair, but she doesn't, man. It's the craziest thing. She kind of uh, yeah, she's completely hairless, has the most perfect, and her ass is incredible. I mean, she got she has like you know uh, like bees maybe. Yeah, breasts, See, which I don't care about. Yeah, but, yeah, and that's one of the things is women. We, while men are judgmental of all those body parts, yeah. you don't need to have a giant ass or perfect tits or any no. of that shit for a man to be happy. No, no. If not a woman's at all. generally in shape, yeah, like that's fucking fine. She's she's five eight. She used to play volleyball. I like tall yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's that fucking tall. Yeah, she's, she's tall, man. Yeah, yeah. You're hopelessly in love. Yeah, I am. But Leo still, he's got problems, and I'm starting to develop these problems too. Yeah. Instagram is it's become dark. it's a dark place. It is, man, for pussy and like you see how addicted you're. Like, yeah. I'll I'll, t- I'll hit up Danny on Instagram because I'm completely. It, it runs sometimes runs my day, and he won't respond for hours because he's strong and he stays off the fucking. I'm starting to break yeah. though. You are, yeah. I'm I know. starting to I've break. Seen, I've seen it, yeah. Because I... On late nights and... Okay, because just objectively now, I'm at a point now, I have about 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I have about 15,000 followers on Instagram. Oh, yeah. If when I first started, you told me, hey, there's this guy who has those stats, how much pussy does he get? I'd mm-hmm. be like, oh, he must be getting tremendous amounts of pussy. At least C, and maybe even B-level actresses in Hollywood must be showing mm-hmm. up at this man's doorstep. <laughs> and I've learned quickly that that's not the fucking case. <laughs> like, a lot of chicks that I am attracted to who are just, like, typical college girls and aren't even that hot, don't, they are, they stop responding to my messages and don't want, I am still not, I don't have the relationships I want right now. Mm. And I had one girl who was fucking down to hang out, this hot half Asian girl down in Long Beach, watch some of my videos and responded, you seem very unpleasant, like a dark person. I don't want to be around you. Goodbye. So it it still works as a deterrent oftentimes. Mm. But I am starting to get to that point now where I have enough people see my videos that I get girls from New York or Arizona right. or Texas who do message me who are sevens would, and above. And would sleep with you. Who would sleep drop with me. Of a dime, yeah. And yeah. who are willing to send, with very little prodding, naked photos of themselves yeah. over it the happens. internet to it me. Happens, yeah. And that, yeah. see, it's, it's tough. It's like you, you press the little multicolored icon in your phone and you get all the rush of being in a nightclub. Yeah. It's like you scroll through, talk to this girl, bam, bam, send me naked pictures. Oh, I you know. Oh, you're so cute, Danny. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, baby. I'm going to lick your ass when I yeah. see you in a month when you're out here in L.A. It's like it's all the stimulation right. you get from, from a normal person going out and being in a nightclub. Right. It's once you have any kind of status on the Internet, you can access that feeling anytime yeah. on your phone. And it's incredible. Yeah, it, and it's really addicting. I mean, it, yeah. not only is it like uh, – like for me, it's taken the place of like it's, it's – I'd rather sext someone than watch porn. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. It's just much more like personal and it's like – Interesting, and it's gotten me in trouble, and and I've had problems with my girlfriend. So it's been difficult to remain in a, in an honest relationship when things are like that easy. And right after the Bachelor, the the show I was on, the Bachelorette, it was fucking nuts, Danny. Yeah. Like it was fucking crazy. And so, that's it's uh, gonna happen to you, man. Yeah. And so I don't know how be many careful people, what you wish for. I, I assume most people, probably eighty percent of the guys who watch my channel, know Leo was a Bachelorette contestant. How yeah. many people? I mean, we'd have to look up the ratings. I'm assuming. 10, 20 million viewers per episode. Yeah, it's insane. It's Something crazy, I've seen. Yeah. It's insane, yeah. On par with the highest, the most viewed YouTuber. Yeah. Like those kinds of views were yeah, on yeah. Leo when he was on that show. Right. And so, I don't want to be known for that at all. I, what, what I, this like? is what? who I am with Danny. This is... Yeah, really yeah. Like, Leo's a fun, yeah. he's he's a scumbag. He's cool. He's yeah. got a good sense of humor. He had to go play the fucking douchebag, yeah, fucking pretty play. boy on that right. show. Right, right, right. But you had, you had some asshole moments too. But what yes, was it like? Did. What were the first two? Like, I mean, what happened? The first episode airs. Do you check your phone? And what's happening is the first um, episode. So, uh, it was about ten thousand um, followers per episode. About. But how did it happen? When the first episode like, premiered, um, were you on your phone, on Instagram, yeah, saying, yeah, was, like, look, see, watching was, the influx? So you start getting a real big pump when your name comes out on the... It comes out, like, on a roster type thing online. So, oh, new contestants. How many, follow, how many hot, um, hungry, thirsty, whatever you want to say, chicks mm, come to you after that pops up? After that pops up, it was, like, an immediate, like, five to 10,000. Nice just, little five ten k Yeah, five ten k What about all first women, episode? Too. All, all women? Like, all women. Yeah. Yeah. What and about first, first episode? episode? First episode, I was only on it for about... Like a minute and thirty seconds, like mm-hmm. everybody, it was like all the intros. They had to introduce yeah. all like yep, thirty yep. guys. So 
just with that, it was another like five to ten k over the week's course because a lot of people watch it like on the Tuesday. It would come out on a Monday, yeah. So you get like a huge pump. Like you couldn't even keep up. You'd refresh and it'd be like hundred yep. followers. Refresh hundred followers. Yeah. Refresh hundred. The DMs it'd start getting like ninety nine plus. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Be like, yeah, yeah. A ton. So there's of uh, DMs on Instagram. There's the primary inbox, which is the people you know, and right. that's all most people really deal in. Right. But then once you have some kind of profile on the internet, there's the secondary inbox, right. which. It's at first when you start getting messages in there, you try to keep up with them and accept the messages and respond yeah. to everybody. But yeah. then the problem becomes once you respond to them, they respond back, and therefore your primary inbox is so cluttered with responses from the people who came from the secondary inbox that you can't get any business or anything done in your right. regular inbox. Right. So you kind of have to ignore that secondary inbox, yeah. or you have to troll through it with a fine tooth comb for pussy. Yeah, that's is, yeah. that's one of the options which too. You got it, yeah. So yeah, if I don't, if I'm not responding, or Leo doesn't respond to those secondary inbox messages. It's because it's not sustainable to do. Twitter yeah. probably has it the best way. Twitter, yeah. you can't message somebody unless they follow you. Right, right. So you start, and then a lot of those women were warthogs, like the one I brought back last yeah, Saturday. There, were, there was a lot of like women from, uh, you know, like yeah. There's just but there's, others. But there were others. Yeah, like there, there's a really big fan base in colleges. Yeah. So like I kind of as we uh, proved with that UCLA video, the rating yeah. UCLA. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was fun having fun with the uh, with the the younger. Uh, college girls for a while there, and then I found a girl that I'm like in love with. So. Double blowjob. Yeah, has yeah. it happened or has it not happened? Oh yeah, multiple times. Multiple yeah. times. Two yeah, women yeah. have performed oral on you at once. Yeah, it's nice. It's you know the rhythm though. I told you about this. Like the rhythm because like they switch off. You know, yeah. it's, it gets you kind of the rhythm of the blowjobs gets like off course, but the visual is like so incredible. It's nice. Yeah. Well, the why don't you tell like, one of them to suck your balls while the other one? Yeah. You. Well, the, you want that to be the case, but it's you know I'm not. I don't feel like barking orders when two girls are giving me a blowjob. I feel like I'm, I'm I've doing won, a lot you know? for you. Yeah, I've already won, so it's like I kind of just want to enjoy it and sit back and relax. But I, th- I think the thing that every guy wants but no guy really wants to admit is he wants yeah. one chick to lick his ass while the other one blows him. Yeah, that would be. Has that happened to you? That would be incredible. Yeah, it has. Yeah, it, that was in college. Though. It wasn't recently or anything. Yeah, was that was back in uh, Leo's baseball plank. Yeah, the baseball, baseball fame player. was enough to get you the the famed yeah, Remy Blowy combo, fun. huh? Yeah. Well. I, well it Jeez. was just to strengthen numbers because I went to a school that was seventy eight percent women. You've had it made. So you started yeah. UCLA one year, then went up to a school in the central. Yeah, California that, that was when I had the most fun. Was the UCLA was fun, but it was like I was yeah. just like a little mere. I went there. I never got player. a double blowjob. <laughs> yeah, UCLA didn't have like a, we. I was pra- I was playing baseball seven hours a day. I never oh, even have time to do anything else. And I would I, I would take the choice. bus home. Yeah. I would take the fucking bus an hour and a half to go home to the valley, and then like it was it was kind of hell at UCLA for me. That's yeah. why I left. Yeah, but but yeah, when I went to Stanislaus up north, there was uh yeah, it was like almost all women. Like I'd go into class was like twenty five girls and five dudes. Like, yeah. That was every class. So yeah, that was it's, incredible. It's so it's just the numbers based on that. Yeah. Black sheep at that school are the ones who have managed not to get a double blowjob rim job combo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, you have to really fuck up and not have that one fall on your lap. Oh yeah. All yeah, right, yeah, so yeah. let's. Uh, I I feel like we got some good time here. Maybe I should talk about the fucking the Nate incident here. Yeah, yeah let's talk about the Nate. Incident. Yeah. So basically, and I should have my phone on hand. I don't know where it is because I was going to read some text. But basically, we've decided to part ways, and I did consult Leo on this with Filmer Nate. For base, the primary reason is Filmer Nate was not doing what he was contracted to do which is to point the camera at the subject and press record. Oftentimes, and I, I mean, I've, I've given him a lot of chances, but starting with, I think, the the video where we did the Iggy transformation. We took yeah. Iggy on a date. Yeah, yeah. There was a crucial clip missing in there, yeah. which he didn't press record for when Iggy made his proposal to the girl Summer to kiss him, which the first four, five, six times it happened, I totally just, not a big deal, man. It fucking happens. Yeah. We're out there running, gun, shooting, shit happens. Didn't make a big deal out of it. And then the the same, that same weekend, I think the next video we filmed, it was me doing the, the sheep fucker video. Mm-hmm. That, he lost a clip of us going into a local church mm-hmm. and me in the middle of service barging in and causing a scene. He missed the first clip, didn't hit record, so we had to go do it again. That actually proved to be a slight blessing because we went and got the, the more intense one afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Camera got seized. Right, but right, then right. it happened It happened in the Inland Iggy uh, stand-up video. We lost the clip of Inland Iggy stealing the football. Um, it's, it's happened in, and we lost some Bakersfield footage. Mm. It's happened in about six or seven videos total. And I've been very generous with Nate. I, to, I hadn't even brought it up until I think the sixth time it happened. And I said, hey, listen, Nate, 
Anything you need to help focus on these shoots, you let me know. You want me to buy you lunch in the middle of the shoot, get you coffee. If you want us to call it, declare it a sober set that nobody drinks or smokes, so you can keep his focus. Because he would do a little boozing and, and, and drinking smoking, yeah. on set. And uh, he said, nope, it's not going to happen again. And then the final straw basically came when we were out shooting this hidden camera prank with Brody TV. Mm. The first day that I went out shooting, he lost part of the clip at the laundromat that you see in the video. And then in the end, it was butchered, this clip with Brody TV and me and Leo, where I approached the guy on the three-wheeled bicycle taxi and told him I wanted to take him to Palm Springs and fuck him in the ass. <laughs> About 80% of that clip, the camera was aimed up into the clouds while the action was taking place, Brody ran over and got into Nate's field of vision. You can see Brody in the camera. Brody's frantically indicating left, swing the camera, and, and Nate wouldn't swing the camera over. And um, so I was pretty upset with that because it's hard. I mean, I have to pay Nate. I have to arrange a shoot. I, a lot of times there are props, gas. I have to set up time. Leo's got to come out. Brody has to come out. We dedicate our whole day to this. Yeah. And it was just frustrating for me to lose a core piece of the shot. So I wasn't, Nate wasn't even fired or anything. Like I wasn't, I was still going to give another shot, another shot after six shots already. But I said, I, I have to train another cameraman. I'm going to get, maybe he's a backup cameraman. So we can have yeah. two cameras. Maybe as just a guy who I can, if you decide you don't want to be here, because maybe you're a little disenchanted with the Danny Mullen project. Maybe we need a new cameraman. Yeah. Um, so I, but I promise you, Nate, I will bring you back into the rotation. Yeah. Nate basically said, um, it, he took that... And it was as I suspected that me, I, I don't like to criticize people and I like to be, I've read how to win friends and influence people. Sure, yeah. So I know how to just be very book, friendly, yeah. use words like, we need to work on this. You're doing a great job, but just one slight thing. Yeah, I, I, I don't criticize anyone. I, I've, been work, I've been using that angle for months and months mm -hmm. uh, with, with the fact that he was dropping clips or getting distracted and not filming things. But I finally had to be kind of just outright, I, Nate, I need you to keep the camera on people. That hasn't been happening right now, so I am getting a backup camera guy and rotating him in. Yeah. And that's when the floodgates opened, and he sent me basically back an abusive message after. Really? That was, it, had, it, was free, it was kind of jocular and like, haha, oh, I totally understand, bro. But then, of course, come like all the backhanded compliments. Really? Which were basically the, yeah, the main points of which were, I, I've grown tired with your comedic character, which wow. to me lacks compassion. He said, your, your character hasn't grown, you don't have enough compassion, which... Well, well that's not true. Yeah. Well, it, it might, might be true, but the point is, I never set out <laughs> well, to be a compassionate well, comedian. In and, fact, but we've quite the opposite. compassionate, though. The Bakersfield video. Yeah. The Bakersfield video is a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. And then he said, also... I and and the, you know sometimes it's you need another guy. I can be compassionate in your videos if you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I have been. You gave a hundred dollars yeah. to a guy who right. was a meth head, but, or maybe you gave to his that's daughter. That's the but. goal, yeah, yeah. And give him some news up. But that's the goal. It's a, we don't have to be compassionate. I mean, yeah, I agree. Completely. What about like off camera though? Off camera, Howard you're Stern, always, Opie, yeah. And, yeah, off camera. Off and, camera, you're always compassionate. And tell, I don't. I treat Nate exceptionally well on yeah. shoots. Yeah. I always ta I always put him in in the Instagram pictures. Tag him. Yeah. Tag him in the videos. Yep. Buy him whatever he needs on the shoots. Yep. And the channel, it's moving in an upward direction. I think that's pretty clear. Yeah. And if he had stuck with us and had been featured in all my Instagram pictures, he would have gotten a lot of work. Yeah. Which brings me to his second point. He says, I underpaid him, which he knew. It was understood from the start. I make very little money. Yeah. I have very little income. This is what I can pay you. Are you okay to work with that? And the original but he agreement... he gets a ride? He gets, yes. he gets food? And he agreed originally that he would work for free. Right. That was the original... In, right. and which there's a ton of people that would work for free. Yeah. And it's not as if the, I now drive a Tesla and live in a house in Beverly Hills. Right. I still, the, the situation is identical. He starts complaining about the money, mm -hmm. which, okay, I mean, maybe if he would have asked for more money, I probably would have paid him. If he would have asked for more money per shoot, I was paying him about 80 to to $100 per shoot, which is a lot for me because we film every fucking weekend. Yeah. And uh, it's mostly local in Los Angeles, or we drive him all the way to the shoot, bring him back, right, drop get him high, himself, give him yeah. beer, give him food all fucking day. Have a great time, too. It's not yeah. as if it's tedious work. Yeah. And uh, I, I like shooting with Nate. He's ballsy. He would do everything we asked him to do. Mm -hmm. So I, He's I, ballsy. Yeah. There's, That's going to be tough to find. Huh? There's there's no way I would have gotten rid of him hadn't it been completely... I still wouldn't have gotten rid of him except for this retaliation message. Yeah. So my character lacks compassion. And then he started getting into it's not a collaboration because he's made a couple. He's suggested th I do things with editing. He's like suggested I do different kinds of videos. He always takes like backhanded jabs at me too. 
for instance, with the Nelk video, he was criticizing the fact that I swore in front of a child in that video. But I have him on video when we were out at Venice Beach this weekend laughing hysterically when Brody TV starts telling a guy how he's going to fuck him in the ass in front yeah. of that guy's son. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Nate's laughing hysterically behind the camera. So like, he would chastise my character. And then about the Nelk video, he starts telling me about how people didn't like me in the comments. Just like weird backhanded. You like, said that? Yeah. You would say shit like that. First of all, that's not true also, right? Well, so, some people did. But the thing is, like, I mean, it was they were they, they like, existed. They're, they're, they're anybody, wrong. Yeah, they're people that see a difference in a video and they just want to like say like, hey, they, exactly, who's that guy? Like, they don't want to. Yeah, know, that's all. It's, it was like with Brody like TV. Change. Brody yeah. TV this week, people yeah. savaged Brody TV in my comments because he's not me. And people right. don't know who he is. Right, right, right. That's people just, don't like change. Exactly. You know? yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. People resist change. Yeah. That's why girls keep going back to their boyfriends and giving <laughs> black eyes every second yeah, Tuesday. That's true. Um, Every second Tuesday? Yeah, Every that works. That works. That's a good time to punch your woman in the face. Um, so, But then also, he, at the end, he said, this doesn't feel like a collaboration. I haven't been able to get a say in the edit. I haven't been able to get... Like, I, I wanted you to ed- upload the videos in a different ratio and sizing, and I think your character needs to develop more. It's like, Nate, I did not hire you as a comedy consultant or an editor. I hired you as a guy to point the camera and press record while you were a subject was on the lens, which he hasn't been doing. He hasn't been pointing the camera at the subject and pressing record. He's been failing in that duty. He messaged me on Instagram. Okay. And um, yeah, I love filming with the guy. And again, it's it, six or seven clips have gone missing before I said a word yeah. because I like filming with him and I, I, I am resistant to change. Yeah. And he's great to have on shoots. Like yeah, he, is. he is, there is a little bit of a babysitting element with Nate. I get the impression he's done a lot of psychedelics and sometimes he does need to be fed or get water or he wants us to pull off the freeway to get yeah. food when we're in the middle of our trek. There is a degree of babysitting that goes on with him. Totally willing to deal with all of it. I love his work. I think his shots look great. But I don't see how we're going to be able to work together now when he's just launched this criticism of my character, my editing, my every, everything, basically. Yeah. So that's that. We've got a guy, Nico, who I, he filmed the you smoking at UCLA video where we had to go into the library and smoke cigarettes. So he's proved his medal in the courage department. Yeah, yeah. And he also filmed the Fan Jerry prank video. He's a really cool guy. I'm filming it with him this Saturday. And then Leo and I are going to Las Vegas next weekend. Just, we're going to be spending the night with him, close quarters, drinking with this guy. Yeah, so we're really going to be, that could be the fucking video right there, breaking him in. That could be part of it. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be the new filmer. Yeah. It sucks, man. I did not want to scramble for a new filmer because I know Nate gives me very good quality, very a very cinematic look. Yeah, he, does, he gives a good cinematic look. For a, for a good price, too. Yeah. And uh, I understand he wasn't happy with that price. And he's right. People who were as good as him... Well, they probably press the record button is the major difference. But people who would make shit look as good as him would cost me hundreds of dollars, hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a full day shoot like we do in Bakersfield or San Diego or Barstow. Yeah, but the, but the thing is, it's not a collaboration. But like he he is on the team. Yeah, and then that's true. It, while it, when you grow, he's gonna grow. True. Like that's. His that's pay- what, that was yeah. the, the goal, right? Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. He fucked up, dude. His paid. I tagged him in every Instagram post and the videos. His paid gigs. Maybe by the end of the year, he would be crushing paid gigs just from the exposure he'd get from my channel. And my channel would, is very shortly going to have the income where I can make him an employee, right. where I could pay him twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year to be the full time cameraman. Yeah. And he had that. It was almost he'd almost made it. And he's young, and he thinks he's the shit, and he thinks he's more important than he is. I guess yeah. with thinking that he needs to consult me on my comedy and my editing, and he's no longer part of the team. Think long term, guys out there. Remember, that's a lesson for everybody. You know, yeah. like uh, when when you see someone that's working hard and he's trying to pay you when he doesn't have any money, like try to it, it, you, you see like upward mobility. Like think about the future instead of like thinking about like what what how you're feeling at the moment. Yeah, because that's that's always going to be. Uh, a lot of people give up before uh, the right before you, you know something big happens. Yeah. And what he's and just so everybody knows, I mean, Danny fucking, yeah. he, I, it was before I was ever on any show and we were on some little shoot. Uh-huh. That's how we met. And Danny had like, I, I didn't have many followers. He didn't either. And we were like, yeah, let's do something on YouTube together. We, yeah. we wanted to do this a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's from the start. Yeah, from the fucking start. partners, buddy. Let's go, baby. But uh, yeah, Nate, he booked out. It was like uh, the original drummer in Oasis leaving right before What's the Story Morning yeah. Glory. Or he got fired. So, well, yeah. sort of Nate. But uh, the thing is, I am very—I'm one of the most forgiving people. I cannot hold a grudge 
Unless you fuck my mother, slit my dad's throat, Jesus. and rape my dog. It's a Havanese. I like that dog. And uh, if you, unless that happens, I will accept your apology and uh, welcome you back without a grudge. So, I, I mean, I still potentially might work right. with Nate again in the future. If he, comes, if he tells me, hey, man, I was just upset. I take a lot of pride in my camera work. I just retaliated. I had a couple drinks. I would let him back on the squad, so this might not be permanent. Right. Nothing against the guy. It, just, he, it was just a business decision. I, like, he dropped the, maybe the best clip of that hidden camera shoot with Brody, the hitting on guys video. Maybe the best clip was butchered, and that just made me worry that I don't know what the next big clip he's going to drop is and what that's going to do to the next big video. So I had to bring somebody else in temporarily. And so we'll see how Nico does, huh? We'll see how Nico does. And uh, that's been the first episode, fucking Leo Danny yeah. podcast. We're still working this out. We thought it was important just to fucking put it on camera, put it on the microphones, get it done instead of being perfectionists. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. First episode. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, uh, follow Leo on Instagram, Leo F D O T, Leo F dot, Danny Mullen. Watch my main channel. Suck my cock. Go Let's fuck go. a fat girl.